Hello, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tenova Fly by Vincent Gaston Dether and Bill Clark. Tenova Fly is a documentation of several experiments done on flies, including the setup, the hypothesis, and the results. Because of the simplistic nature in a lot of these experiments, Dether and Clark invite the reader to join them as they perform these experiments on flies, which is exactly what we'll be doing today. The purpose of this experiment will be to test a fly's sense of taste, specifically where exactly it tastes from. When a fly senses food, it will lower out its mouth, where it will proceed to suck up all the sugar it can find like a vacuum cleaner. This little area that the fly uses to taste from is referred to as the proboscis. For this experiment, you will need a sheet of paper, a cup of water, some sugar packets, food coloring, and some sort of paintbrush. Step one, open the sugar packets, then dump them into the cup of water as so. Repeat this till all your sugar packets are inside the cup. Once that is done, stir the water and the sugar together with your paintbrush. After that is done, take the food coloring and mix it into the water as well. Again, follow this by mixing the food coloring into the water as well. Once that is done, take the paintbrush and paint some of the water on the sheet of paper. Try to get a sizable chunk of the paper while still leaving the edges clean so that you do not stain your fingertips whenever you pick it up. Once you are done, take your sheet of paper outside to a place where flies are likely to find it. The intended result of this experiment is that hopefully the fly will bite down on a sheet of paper after long enough, leaving a miniature trail where exactly it sucked the sugar out of the paper. After around 30 minutes, I did get a very small bite, but as you can see, it wasn't very big and didn't leave that much of a trail. Well, the experiment is done, and what were the results? Well, as you can see, the fly didn't make very many markings on the sheet. This could be for several reasons. Number one, along with the paper that I set up in the tutorial, I also set up a few of my own, and one of them might not have shown up as easy as the one the paper did because it had been dried up by that point. Number two, flies themselves were only so big, and as a result, they might not make as big of markings as we would like for them to make. And finally, number three, although the, although the book does give decent instructions on how to do this, it doesn't exactly specify how much sugar and how much water and what ratio of water to sugar to put them in. Either way, this is a very fun experiment. I hope you try it out at home. I'm going to link the sources in the description, and I'll also try and find the place where you can buy this book online. Until then, that's all for this video. I'll see you next time. See ya.